Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to perform a barbell glute bridge. This is an amazing exercise if you're trying to build that peach booty. So ladies, this one is for you, but also gentlemen, for you, this is a great basic exercise to learn the fundamentals of what a hip hinging movement is. Hip hinging is important because you've got to learn how to hip hinge in order to squat properly as well. So this is a great exercise. First thing we'll do is start with the setup. So the first thing is the equipment. You wanna use a glute bridge pad. If you don't have one at your gym, a normal bench will be completely fine. You just wanna sit down close to the bench with your shoulder blades on the pad. So as I mentioned, we're sitting down, our back is completely against the pad. We're gonna lean back and our shoulder blades will be what goes against the pad. Then you wanna roll the bar onto your abdomen. After that, we set the feet. We want the feet to be shoulder width apart and if you look here, we're not gonna be narrow, we're not gonna be super wide. Again, shoulder width apart or just slightly outside of your shoulders. The next thing is, after your feet are shoulder width, you wanna pull your heels towards your butt. So pull your heels towards your butt, lean back against the pad. Before we start, you wanna get a pad here that is meant for barbell. If you don't have one at your gym, you can just grab a normal gym mat and fold this in half once fold it again into quarters and just stack that on your abdomen so you have some padding in between you and the bar. So again, back to the lift, we set the feet, we lean back, we pull the heels close to our butt. From here, the hands are gonna go onto the bar and then the movement, we push through our heels and fully extend through the hips, contracting the glutes. Again, notice my knees are outward, extending completely through the hips through the movement. This is how we wanna execute a barbell hip thrust, AKA glute bridge. One fault that I see commonly, do not let your knees knock or come together. Uh, I try to purposely make it look weird here, but you get the point. Do not bring them in close together, leave them out, leave your knees wide, contract the glutes. This gives you power to contract through the movement. Just to recap, focus on your setup, extend through your hips, keep your knees going outward the entire time. 